I have decided in terms of section 179 of the Constitution to appoint advocate Shamila Batohi as the new National Director of, Prose of Prosecutions. I'm confident that advocate Batohi possesses all the attributes of a capable NDPP. Throughout her extensive and distinguished career and in the course of the selection process, she has shown herself to be a fit and proper person. Introducing advocate Shamila Batohi, the new National Director of Public Prosecutions, days before a December 19 deadline for the President to replace Sean Abrahams after the Constitutional Court found his appointment as NDPP constitutionally invalid. The open interview process, a result of a legal threat, saw favorite Batohi and the 10 other nominated candidates appear before an advisory panel of esteemed legal minds established by the President. Born in January 1961 in Durban, Shamila Batohi grew up in the northern east Durban suburb of Clare Estate and completed her matric at this school. Now the principal, this former student at Benwood, recalls Batohi. Amazing young lady. I knew her brothers very well. And I think the whole community knew the Batohi family. And humble people. And I think it was written that they're going to reach greatness, not just Shamila herself. The whole family has done well. Um, they, like her, her, her work in academics and sport, and as well as a lot of brothers and things, was well established. Amazing family and very focused. And you know, if you have a chat with them, you, you leave so inspired. You feel, you know, there's, there's this greatness that they want to achieve, and it is, it's amazing. After Benwood, she would go on to study at the University of durban Wesville before completing her postgraduate at the old University of Natal across the city. She began her career in private practice before going on into public service in 1986 at the Chastwood Magistrates Court as a junior prosecutor. Just over a decade later, in 1995, she became part of the team appointed by the then President Nelson Mandela to investigate hate squad activities within the police service under the KwaZulu-Natal Attorney General Tim McNally. She looks back at that work highly. I think the, the, the most uh, challenging and the highlight of my career thus far was my work with the Investigation Task Unit, which investigated the so-called Magnus Milan case and hit squad activities in KwaZulu-Natal and um, you know I think uh, that was before the Truth Commission perhaps the most important post-apartheid investigation. But so he assisted McNally who resigned in November 1998 after criticism over rulings in separate commissions that found there was no state sponsorship in the violence as well as his poor handling of political cases. On McNally's departure, Batohi, as one of his two deputies, was in the running for the KZN AG position, which went to Justice Poswa. Well, just explain to us, how did this happen? When did, when did you decide that you were not going to get involved in this again? How, that, that must have been quite a realisation. The lawyer's you, public persona rose with the handling of the high-profile prosecution of former Proteus cricket captain Hansi Kroenje's involvement in cricket match-fixing in 2000. Toy is uh, a very astute young woman and uh, she's very enthusiastic about the job and she's doing it very well and I'm, I'm, I'm proud of her. Her work received recognition even outside her cycle of professionals. Shamila Batoy, who led the evidence during the King Commission of Inquiry into cricket match fixing, has been appointed head of the elite investigating unit, the Scorpions, in KwaZulu-Natal. Within months after the Kroenje's inquiry in 2002, advocate Batohi became the first regional head of Directorate of Special Operations, a position she held until 2009. She is the first woman to lead the National Prosecutions Authority and does so well aware that not a single national director of national prosecutions has completed their term of office since the NPA was set after the post-1994 democratic era. I accept with gratitude the opportunity to serve as national director of public prosecutions. My only obligation is to serve the country with humility and with dedication to the best of my ability. 
each one of us, no matter where we are, must be ready to sacrifice the necessary to fight the good fight. Our country needs us. Let us not forget that this is also a historic moment for women. It is a recognition by our president that the role of women in the pursuit of equality, justice, and a fair society is important. Having honored her exceptional abilities after a decade-long stint at The Hague, where she was a senior legal advisor to the prosecutor at the International Criminal Court, advocate Shamila Batohi comes into the position with a nation's expectations weighing heavily on her shoulders. Numpumele Lomtetwa for SABC News.